Welcome to the VB Toolbox. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to uh, grab an image from the internet and display it in your application. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start by creating a new project. And I'm just going to name that project um, Web Images. And we want to make sure that's a Windows Forms application. I'm going to click OK. That will generate a new project template for us. I'm just going to stretch out this form a little bit and add a few basic controls. I'm going to start with a picture box. And I'm going to set a border around that. Um, border style, fix single. Drag it right about there. And I'm going to duplicate this um, picture box control because I'm going to show you two different ways to draw the image to your picture box. Copy that by right clicking on it. Come over here and select paste. And that should do. I'm going to go ahead and name this first one. Now if you go to the name property, um, I'm going to name this. Um, PB image one, and I'll name this one PB for picture box image two. What I will be doing is uh, showing you how to set the image property on this picture box, and in this picture box, we're going to use uh, Windows GDI to actually draw the image to the box. Um, so let's go ahead and add uh, two more controls here. I want a text box for the image URL. So we know where to get our image resource from on the internet. Just think of that as um, the address bar in your web browser. So I will name this um, text box txt URL. And finally, I want a button to fetch the image. little bit keep it looking nice and I'm just going to change the caption text on this button to get image we can change the name of that object to CMD get image all right now we're ready to roll okay so what we'll want to do now is generate uh, our form code. I'm just going to click in my double click in your form right here. That generates a form load event. And outside of our class, we are going to want to import a couple of libraries here. One is going to be the system.io. And when we reference that, it will give us access to file streams. The other one will be system.net, which will give us access to our web, web client class. So first off, we'll say imports system.io. And next, we will reference system.net. Actually, uh, since we're going to be using GDI as well, I'm going to um, import the drawing, system.drawing as well. That gives us access to uh, our graphics objects and things like that. So we'll say imports system.drawing. All right, now that we have those in here, um, what we want is a click event for our get image because this is where all the action is going to happen. So I'm going to double click on get image and it generates a click event for a button. And the first thing we're going to do is um, just grab the image off the internet and display it as the image property of the picture box. So um, I'm just going to say picture box image and we're going to start with a try catch uh, to catch any errors 
and return gracefully back to our application without crashing. So I'm going to say try, and that generates our try catch. Now we have three important things that we need to uh, bring in here. One is going to be a web client class, and then we're going to need a buffer, or essentially an array of bytes, to capture the data from the stream. Um, and finally, we'll need a memory stream to actually read those. So what we'll start out with is dim wc as new web client. We don't have to specify any parameters for that. And now we need an array of bytes to actually capture the information from our stream. So we'll say dim bytes, open and close parentheses to create an array of them as the byte type. And we're going to set this array equal to our web client dot download data method. And we, we have to supply a web address to this uh, download data so it knows where on the internet to go for the information. And that will be set to our txt URL dot text. So it looks at whatever's in that text box and goes out and downloads the data from that link. And next up, we need a stream to read that data. So we're going to say dim um, image stream as a new memory stream. And we have to supply our byte array to dump the information into. So we're going to say bytes as our byte array. And now what we can do is set the image property of our uh, picture box to be equal to the, the data from that stream. So what we do is pbimage1 dot image equals image dot from stream and then I'll select my image stream. And in the event that we have any errors when we try to execute this, we're just going to say message box exception ex dot message. So it will return the error to us so we know what happened. All right, so let's see if this works. Um, I'm going to go ahead and run the app. Now, we need an image on the internet. Uh, to actually put in here. If we leave it blank, it should throw an error. It's going to say the path is not of a legal form. So let's go ahead and grab a grab an image from the internet. Uh, I have some. I'm just going to start off with uh, my YouTube channel here. I'm going to right click this uh, little avatar image and I will copy the image location. And if I paste that up in the address bar of the browser, oh, you can't see that, it's off the screen. Um, but if I paste it up there, I can see my image URL. It's pretty long, but if I bring that up, you can see that that is the image. So if my application is working properly, I should be able to dump that in here and hit Get Image, Image, and there it is. So now what if I don't want to set the image property? You notice the image is kind of small. What if it's too big and it doesn't fit in the box? Um, what if we want to actually scale that? Well, what I'm going to do is use the Windows GDI to actually scale it to the dimensions of the box. So let's go ahead and um, uh, we'll go ahead and replicate what we have up here. I'm going to just copy and paste that down. We're just going to tweak the code here a little bit. And I'm going to change this to a GDI image. All right. So we're going to need one extra variable here. And this will be, um, I'm just going to say dim g as graphics. And I'm going to set the graphics to be equal to the graphics um, of our picture box 2. So and say pb image2 dot create graphics. 
now I can use this graphics object to actually draw directly into this picture box. So our web client is going to stay the same as is our byte array and our image stream. But instead of supplying uh, an image from the stream to the image property, what I'm going to do is um, use my graphics object. I'm going to say g.drawImage. And the image that I want to draw is image.fromStream, just like we did with the other. And I have to supply a stream to draw from, and that's going to be our image stream. And, um, and then I'm going to supply a rectangle. I'm going to create a new rectangle as the destination to draw. <clears throat> so I'll say new rectangle. And uh, the first two parameters of the rectangle are the location. Uh, the location of the top left corner of the rectangle. So I'm going to say draw it at 0 pixels by 0 pixels, so at the very top left corner of our picture box. Um, and then I need to know the width of the image and the height. And so what I will do is just grab the dimensions of our picture box, the width and the height. So I'll say PB image 2 dot width. And for the final parameter, I'll do PB image 2 dot height. And we will need a final paren to close that off. And so let's see what happens now when we try pasting that link in. Oh, I need to grab that from my browser again. And I'm going to paste it in here. So I'm going to say get image. So you see what happened. Um, this one is drawing to a rectangle in the exact location and dimensions of our picture box. So it stretches it out. This just draws it at its actual size, but what if it's too large to fit in the box? Let's go grab one of those wallpapers that we were looking at. I'm just going to pick one randomly here. This one looks nice, so I'm going to right click on that image. I'm going to copy the link location. And you can really use any other web address on the internet that you choose. I'm just going to select all that and paste in the new image link and say get image. Ooh, parameter is not valid. Uh, it's probably because I didn't get an actual. Let's try this one here. I'm going to copy image location. That is a huge image. There. Hmm. It's not giving me a, an actual image link here. Need a JPEG. There we go. That'll work. That's big. Okay, so let's try putting that one in there. So get image. It's going to take it a moment because it's got to download it twice. And as you can see, it only grabbed a, a small portion of it in the first picture box. And the second one, it scaled it down to the actual dimensions of the picture box so we can see the entire image. It's a little uh, skewed because it's wider than it is tall, but um, as you can see, it is uh, downloading successfully and doing what it's supposed to do. So. I hope that this has been useful for you. You can use this uh, in many ways from your for your applications, grabbing uh, user images or avatars and things like that. So, um, anyway, I hope you like this, and if you think someone else will like it, please share it with them. Uh, thanks for joining me. Bye bye.